My name is Chris Fleming, and what I do is I'm a sensitive. And a sensitive is somebody that can sense and pick up on any changes in the environment, namely ghosts or spirits, different forms of energy. I can communicate with the spirits, whether it's clairaudient, where I hear them, clairvoyant, where I can sometimes see them. That's him. That is the face that I saw. And I like to support that with scientific evidence. I'd like to get a photograph or a video that there is something there around me when I say I feel something here. Because people just today, they don't, they don't take your word for it. They want tangible proof. I want to give them both. Lost souls are people like you and I, but from a different time era, that are trapped here. And there's many different reasons. And if I could give any closure to them, or any confidence in them to take that step to move on or find out something about them, then that's what Lost Souls is going to be all about. Well, Willow Springs is a little ghost town in the center of the Mojave Desert. We have doors that open and close by themselves, and it's not all wind. The door will open, the door will close and latch again. Purity, I'll look out the window and he'll like, I'll see a shadow. I felt like somebody got their fingers and just across my back. An old safe we had, they say the tumblers would turn at night. It freaked me out. I'd wonder what it was. I don't tell anybody. They think I'm nuts. You're all alone. You're scared. But then when you begin to realize that there's other people out there that have gone through what you went through as a kid, it's like, I can do something about that. Don't get me wrong, I don't have all the answers. But I have a lot more answers than anybody else out there. My name is Richard Nelson and we managed the village of Willow Springs. It was an old stage stop, headquarters for mining companies. Basically all roads converged here. But the real history of this place really is because of the huge availability of water. Where no water could be had, any traveler could find it here. Richard, where are you taking me to now? We're going to the old uh, stage of dope. Dates about 1860. Those are windows. You see there's a gun placement here. This building is the old blacksmith shop. And this was apparently part of the structure going along with the old stage stop. You know why I'm doing this? Why? I want to find out the history. And I want to know what the stories are of these ghosts. Like, why are they here? Right. And what's their story? You know, I don't know what a ghost is. Maybe by me being here, and if there is anything here that I come yeah. in contact with, I can show you what a ghost is. Interesting sight, and there's supposed to be a lot of stuff here, so we need to come up with some kind of plan. Pull that picture up for him that we got here in the saloon because uh, All we, the got, showing to me we got readings here, we got readings across the street. See, uh, that's awesome. That's awesome, isn't it? That's awesome because there's no way it could be your shadow. You know, you notice I'm looking down at my instrument? Yeah. Right when he snapped the photo, right after that. You got a reading? I, I, was, I spiked hard, also, I felt it. Like, oh. like, like this. Oh, oh I'm, 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 like on my shoulder. Another computer program that we use a lot is for electronic voice phenomenon, which is typically called EVP in our field. We have a digital recorder. We'll then put it into a program we analyze to see if we can hear answers. I don't know exactly where this is going to take me, but I do know that along the way, there's going to be things that I've never experienced before. I know that I'm going to uncover things that people maybe have never even spoke about before. You know, and I want answers. I want to know things. I'm sure, you know, everybody else out there wants to, too, but I don't think as much as me. Because no matter what experience you have happen in your life with these things, it's just, you want more. You want more. That adobe structure over there is the oldest piece of evidence on this location. This is it, this spot right here. Got the cowboy hat on, got on everything. I see him with his donkey. Teeth are all messed up. Couldn't afford a horse. <laughs> he had a donkey. If there was two men here, what were they doing here? The one guy had the gun. The other guy went around the building here with the gun and was shooting at these, these two. OK, it's a brand new charged battery. It said before 85 minutes. Now it's completely blank and it's showing that the battery's dead. My camera just shut off. I felt something was there, and I got that chill, is if somebody was hiding within that tree watching us. You can communicate to us through this. It says, goodbye, little house. I love you. Goodbye, J. Scott, my ghost. Is the spirit still here that was related to this woman? Can you come forward? 
Oh, there's a shift going on behind me. Oh, it's getting cold behind me. There was a woman that came in here. She came in here just to see you, didn't she? You can make this light up two for yes and one for no. Do you miss the woman that used to visit you here, yes or no? Yes, you do. Anybody want to ask a question? Were you here during the stagecoach days? Yes. Were you one of the people that worked the station here? He's thinking. No. Relay the questions to her. He's concerned about her. Obviously, from the, the responses, that this spirit is the one. So it's not a myth. That's real. You know, you've got the readings. We got confirmation in here, conscious answers to the questions. You said you were getting cold. This thing was going. Was it? Awesome. Yeah, it's going crazy, man. And I'm not reading the geomagnetic field. I always read that. Cowboy, you want to talk to me? Ooh, did you feel that shift in the floor here? I'm getting readings. Something in here. I just puts it back on my knee. Okay, right now I'm sensing it's slightly behind me or around me. It's moved back. It's behind me now again, Bob. It's moving away from you again, right? Uh, yeah. This thing's playing like hide and seek behind me. Tom? Battery just yeah. died on this thing. It had 18 minutes left. Oh. They're pranking us, dude. Are you a cowboy from the Old West? Yes. Was there ever anybody that was shot and killed outside of this hotel. Yes. Are all of the spirits ghosts communicating amongst themselves because we're here? Yes. Cody, are you taking pictures outside? Will you spirits at least please show yourself outside by Cody so we can get a picture of you? You got something. You got something. Oh my God, look at that. Going right into. Yeah, right after you asked it okay. to. Show itself. Yep. Dude, high five, man. <laughs> Let's show this to Richard. During our investigation, mm -hmm. okay, we've gone to a lot of the locations. In the underground, we had a communication going and we had some drainage of power. In the hotel, I had fast communication going there, responding. The one thing that I'm learning is a lot of these spirits and ghosts that are here are in their own little world. But they cared enough that we did actually get some photographs that we want to show you. It's showing it's off something that's three-dimensional. And the middle part's solid, so you know it's not a shadow because it's not casting itself off of the wall or floor here. You know, I've never seen the photographs do that, though. So what do you think? There's definitely something there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There's so many more places to cover. There's so many more spirits and ghosts to talk to. And we might only get little fragments or little bits of information from each place and from each spirit, but there's got to be an answer to it all. There has to be a complete puzzle that they can tell us. And we have to start from one place and then go to the next.